It's very interesting to see that Bach not always specified which continuing instrument he would like to have. But in this cantata, he really specifies the bassoon in the continuum part. Looking at other music of Bach, normally he had few reasons to do that. Many times he just wrote an obbligato aria using uh, the, the bassoon. Uh, sometimes he chose to double the singers, and sometimes he used it in big settings, for instance when we have trumpets or three oboes. Uh, in this cantata, it's a bit different because he really specified the bassoon in all the piece. At the same time, it's quite a small setting. It's just two oboes and, um, and string orchestra. And for me, it's interesting why he chose to do it. We have such different character, the lamento in the beginning that moves to this very vivid line in the choral. Then the very intimate alto aria that goes after to a very interesting chorale, because we expect the chorale four singers being accompanied by the instrument, but in this sense we have the tenor singers singing the chorale and has the continuo accompanying with an ostinato line, again very chromatic, from there we move to a recitativo that leads to a soprano aria, which is a dance-like, very positive, finishing with a chorale. And in very short time, we have at least five, six totally different characters. And I think having the bassoon can really make this character clearer. And it can just give good attack. And I think especially when we are playing in churches using big church organs, the lower you get in the register, the more muffled it gets. And the bassoon can give a bit this edge and then add when is necessary. This instrument is a copy by Achintop. And I think it's interesting to realize that when Bach had an idea in his head of a bassoon was probably this, because that's the instrument uh, existed in the time, and not just in the time, but really in the same city. It's quite new fashion. And what is very special about the instrument is that it's a very good continual instrument. If we just take a very simple line of just a few notes, can be very different than and it, in a very that's basically you can do it. dynamics but also articulation the very soft articulation versus just the beginning of a, a note I think it's an instrument we can also um, shape the note and give the right effect You can really sing with the bassoon, and it has a very uh, good tenor range. And that's interesting also in this cantata that you see that a lot of the arias, uh, the tessitur is quite high, and he really lets the instrument sing. And I get the feeling that he, because of that, he used the bassoon, knowing that also the bassoon can have the edge when it's necessary, but at the same time also to sing when it's necessary in the most intimate moment, like the alto aria with the oboe solo. As a continued player, you usually need to blend together with a cello and a gamba and an organ, a harpsichord, and this instrument allows you as you see, you can see a lot of wood. Uh, in the front of the instrument, you just have two keys. When you have a lot of keys, as modern instrument has, uh, many times it's easier to get attack or get some specific notes. At the same time, this directness uh, makes the instrument stick out. But when you need to blend with so many instruments, actually uh, you get a lot big advantage by not having too many keys.